Okay, Joy, ready? Yeah. That's 7,500 volts of electricity coming off this knife. It really hurts, but it could save Jonathan's life. Ugh! Drop the knife! Drop the knife! <sighs> Jether, hand me behind your back! Do it now! Do it now! Stop! This is Shock Knife, a Winnipeg invention designed to bring realism to police and military training. You don't want to get zapped. In the past, we've always trained with rubber objects, rubber knives, and, and so on. And we have found that officers uh, are, are, are one, A, for, afraid of that weapon, and they should be. So therefore, that, that shock knife with, with the sound that it emits and uh, the fact that once it is uh, used, that you do get the sensation that you have been injured. And uh, this is exactly what we're looking for and exactly to train officers and challenge them into protecting themselves. I can say that it's better to give than to receive in these, in these uh, <laughs> exercises. Mr. John Dotes, Winnipeg Sheriffs. What do you want? We have a notice for eviction, sir. You're given your 24 hours. We have to get you out of the premises. I'm not leaving. Sir, if you don't come out, we're going to come in. What do you want? We need you out of here. I'm not leaving yet. Ah! Drop the knife. Drop it. Drop it. Drop the knife! Drop it! Drop it! Drop the knife! Chance me on your back! I'm not leaving! Stop resisting! I'm not leaving. When you're in a life-threatening situation, you react very differently than when you're in a non-threatening training exercise. A wrong move could cost your life. So instructor Jeff Quayle created the shock knife to create a sense of fear in the class. He had a problem with his training that he couldn't replicate uh, what, the, what the officers would face under a real edge weapon attack. And what he found with his six years in the academy was that they were using plastic and rubber knives and they just couldn't, couldn't get that same acute stress level up and he was frustrated at that. What he found in fact was a lot of these recruits would uh, grab the blade of the knife if they were in a spontaneous type attack and they would stay in the fight. And obviously it was his role to have them create distance back off, go to their firearm. So uh, without the proper training tool he was frustrated that he couldn't get across proper techniques for them to survive. I don't want to get hit with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hear it and you're just like, whoa. We crank it down low because the knife is adjustable. Then you're going to feel like you've got a stiff paper cut. And you're going to experience a, uh, a, a feeling as if you've been cut to the bone if it's on high. There's no uh, long-term effects at all. It is not meant to incapacitate at all. It's strictly meant to be a pain penalty uh, for, uh, for, for improper technique. I found out firsthand why it's so effective. Oh. Ow. Oh. The dynamic that's added with this tool to our training can't be matched by any other tool that we've used so far. With the other tools, your anxiety level stays the same. Um, with this tool, um, just seeing the, the arcs and knowing that it's, it's going to hurt you, it, your anxiety levels go up, the adrenaline starts going up, it mirrors what a real life situation would be like. Okay, Mr. Smith, we're going to be taking you back to Stony Mountain. You ready to go? He's got a knife. Open the Drop the knife! Drop the knife! Drop, Drop it! The knife. Jeff's prototype was similar to a cattle prod, but in just over a year, he, Rory, and their support team developed the shock knife and sold it to law enforcement agencies in 15 countries. When we see agencies that are, that are using our product, that are enhancing their training and ultimately going to save officers' lives, uh, we've, we've been in, um, I think it's eight different publications now. We've had users of our product that have been so impressed by it that they've written articles uh, from, from Police One to, to a SWAT magazine law officer, Tactical Knife. And to see those articles, it is very rewarding uh, for us, and especially Jeff, my uh, partner, who is an officer in the trenches and uh, ultimately wants to save lives out there. For Shaw TV, I'm Jeremy Valance.